Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. And this is our weekly accomplishments check-in video blog, number 23, for our accomplishments for the week of July 29th, 2013. Uh, the purpose of our nonprofit organization is to create self-sufficient and self-replicating teacher demonstration villages, communities, and cities to be built all over the world. We are open source project launch blueprinting everything necessary to build these cities. We'll be building the first seven of them as one community. And ultimately, the purpose of all of this is to uh, demonstrate the designs of the future. Now, we think that the designs of the future are going to be ecological. We think that they're going to be more affordable than the way that we're building right now. We think that they're going to be, they're going to last longer than the way that we're building right now. And most importantly, we believe that it'll be a, a redefining of the way that we live that focuses more on interaction, collaboration, cooperation, um, highest good for all thinking is what we call it. And we're a highest good for all organization. It's the number one most important value for everything that we do. And so we would like to demonstrate a model of living that exemplifies this. And the designs for the future that we are creating that go along with this are everything from gray water to completes to, to uh, home design as well as energy infrastructure and then along with that we have an education infrastructure and a bunch of other details. So without further ado, as always, uh, I'm just going to go over a quick bullet point of everything that we've accomplished within this last week and then I'll go into details after that on everything that's happening behind the scenes and if you're interested in the links, pictures, and more information, click on the, the written blog link in the, uh, in the YouTube description and that'll take you to the written companion blog that goes along with this and that has pictures of everything that I'm talking about and links to the details on our website which is extensive all the open source content everything that we're doing is there so this week quick bullet point uh, in this last week we've got our tropical atrium planting is now done through number 50 of 60 so we're almost done uh, behind the scenes editing all of that Zenopini number one plants are all selected and mapped. I'll talk about what that is afterwards. We're two thirds of the way done with the Earth Bag Village cost analysis. Um, we've started the Straw Bale Village progress and creating that now, moving that into 3D. So it's very exciting to see village number two for the first time. We've got somebody that's working on that. Um, we're working on gray water systems. We've got progress that's happened on that behind the scenes as well. I'm hoping to get some images today. It might not come until next week. Um, education program strategies of being is about 50% done as far as our uh, looking at a new earth as a template. Eckhart Tolle is a new earth as a template for that. We're 50% done with that book, extracting all the information that we want to share there. Uh, we have a new satellite pioneer option that we launched this last week. Or actually, we haven't even launched it, but it's finished on the website. We're going to launch it this week, possibly today. And so those details are up on the website. Uh, we've also updated our overview page as a portal to the entire website with an overview of, of all our key pages and what you're going to find there. So to make our website easier to navigate, we've been listening to feedback about that. Um, we've updated our partnership page and we post our revenue, uh, rental revenue details, what we think rental revenue will be for one community for the, uh, for the five year project for the first five years. And then um, our residency projections also have been posted and completed uh, this last week, updated this last week. And so that's it. That's the overview. Um, now let's talk about the details. I want to share the details, and I really want to go into the satellite pioneer option. So in order of everything that I just talked about, uh, tropical atrium, we're done through number 50, which means behind the scenes, we've got all the pictures, we've got all the descriptions, we've got the cultural considerations, we've got the placement details. We have two people working on this as their primary focus for one community right now. And so 50 of 60, it has been... Man, we've been working on this for like three months. I pledge to you right now when it is done, I will do the happy dance in the video blog to have this one done. But what is being completed behind the scenes is just amazing. And so we're just doing you know final edits on that. So the details are there. And now we're going through it one more time and just checking and making sure that everything is organized and then we can start putting those up on the website and hopefully get that, that completed within the next couple of weeks. Uh, Zenopini number one. I said the plants are all selected and mapped, and so what that means, Zenopini, the Zenopinis are meant to be botanical garden demonstration, uh, food production 
houses. And so there are wallapinis, which means they're built in the ground. And the zenapini aspect is, is that we want to create a zen garden type of effect that produces a broad diversity of really, really cool food and uh, as well as just amazing, beautiful plants. And so um, that the, all the plants have been selected and mapped. We don't have them up on the website. We'll probably put them up. We'll get them up this week. Um, but they've all been done behind the scenes. All that stuff is done now, and we're working on Zenopini number two. So um, we're two thirds done with the earth bag cost analysis I mentioned. Pretty self explanatory there. As soon as that's done, earth bag village. You know, we believe that not counting the energy infrastructure because a lot of different options that you can go with there. But um, we're designing the earth bag village to be a uh, housing for over a hundred people that can be built for less than three or four hundred thousand dollars and so we're now doing the cost analysis for all of the different uh, materials costs for individual domes and then three dome clusters and working out all those details about two-thirds of the way done on that. Um, gray water systems progress is thanks to Erin Ponte is working on all of that. Um, she said that she's got a bunch done. I asked her for an update, so hopefully we'll get that update. I would love to get it today and include with this blog. If we do, I'll include it in the written blog portion. Um, if not, it'll be, I'd expect it to be in the next week's blog. So that stuff's moving forward. And then Straw Bale Village, um, we've put the infrastructure in, in place behind the scenes now, and we've got uh, a new fo a new person who's going to be helping us with that. I'm looking forward to sharing those details as they come together. Right now, we're just in the basic planning stages of getting that into 3D. You know, we have the the architectural designs and everything are done thanks to uh, Doug Stenhouse and all of his work. So now we want to start putting that into 3D. And so hopefully over the next few weeks, I'll be able to start having some basic uh, updates and things on that. So crossing my fingers on that. Um, I said, let's see the education program strategies of being mentioned that. So we are taking Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth and using that as a foundation for uh, the basics of our strategy of great teachers leaders and communicators. And so, you know, we did a whole bunch of research. We're looking at Tony Robbins. Um, we're definitely going to use the four agreements is something that we're using with that as well. We've looked at uh, a broad diversity of different leaders and great communicators, etc. And so we finally said, you know what, we think that a new earth is really the foundation that we want to start with. And if you haven't read that book, we would highly recommend it. It's um, it's uh, one of the one of the recommended readings for our organization for everybody that joins our organization, and one of the books that I personally believe, uh, having read it several times, is probably the number one best book that anybody could read to prepare them for consensus, for consensus decision making. And so um, we looked at that and we realized that uh, you know we'll just we, it makes sense to to build our foundation for the strategies of being, which is really strategies for teachers, but strategies for everybody at one community we uh, realized that it would make sense to, to start with that foundation. And so we're 50% of the way done uh, with one of our team members just reading that book and just taking detailed notes with this mindset, thinking about, okay, we want this to be the strategies of being like, this is a kind of our, our accountability model to each other to help evolve each other's consciousness and to grow as individuals. If we were to put that down in one page, what does this look like? Have our commitment to that in alignment with our values and our philosophy as an organization, what would that look like? And so we're 50% of the way done with that. Um, and then we had a whole bunch of different updates as well that I mentioned as far as website updates. Overview page has been completely redesigned with some really um, beautiful imagery and stuff that's been included in there now and links that link out to all the pages. Um, people, our website is huge. You know, we're creating all of the different components for a sustainable civilization and we're open source project launch blueprinting them, meaning we're not just creating them, but we're creating them with all the details necessary for somebody to duplicate them. So our website not only is it huge, it is growing exponentially. You know, everything that we do breaks out into a whole new piece. The gray water system is a whole new piece. Each component of each component is a piece that we want to be able to be duplicable, either as an individual component or to be able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together and build complete, sustainable cities, villages, and communities. And so these are the designs of the future that we're talking about. You know, we think that the designs of the future will be modular. We think the designs of the future uh, will obviously be, be sustainable, but if they're modular, then you can put these things together in the way that works best for the area that we're going to be, that you're going to be building in, or for your individual situation, for your individual budget, etc. And so anyway, the point is, our website is huge, and it continues to grow. And so we created the overview page. We redesigned our overview page so that people are, that are just finding one community have no idea 
where to even start because that's what people say they're like man I started with your website I didn't even know where to start it's too much <coughs> and so we took that and uh, and we designed the overview page with little bullet points essentially of what the major pages are the overview pages and where to go so that people can use that as a reference and then our site map has also been redesigned and updated so that the site map is the same way it's broken into sections so that people can find the information that they want and then each of our uh, open source blueprint pages which is open source hubs are being designed this way as well so you have an open source hub that says hey here's all the information for materials for labor investment, for tools and equipment, and then all of the individual components of, say, the Earthbag Village are there in a bullet point format. And when you click on that, that takes you into the meat and potatoes of that one. It takes you into the volume of information for how to duplicate the Earthbag Village and each of the components individually. And so all this stuff is coming together, this website redesign and everything. You know, it's taken us, I don't know, two and a half years of fine tuning to get it figured out and feedback from public on what is needed to make it easier you know and then once we get it all once we have the different open source pages are all created and everything then we'll redesign the menus and stuff so that when you're in the earthbag village you will have a menu just for the earthbag village right there and so everything is on the right hand side from any page about the earthbag village you can click and access any other page for instance and same thing with the business infrastructure you know nonprofit for-profit business models which are all duplicable and uh, same thing for the straw bale village and same thing for water catchment and same thing for food infrastructure and same thing for energy infrastructure same thing for the education program which has already been designed this way so if you'd like to see what those menus are going to look like you can go to the education program page take a look at that and it breaks it all down for you so um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And along with that, this week we also updated our partnership page because we're really aggressively looking for the partners that we need to uh, to complete the different components so that we can get all these things wrapped up and be shovel ready, which is the, the biggest thing that we see as uh, achieving the funding that we need to purchase the property, which is still you know, the number one thing that we need right now. If anybody could help us, number one most beneficial thing for one community right now would be if somebody would invest in one community and help us get that property off the market. Either as a donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or as a financial investment for them, take that property off the market and then we would work to pay that off. But getting that property off the market would allow us to market that property, market that location, and really share those details which so many people are interested in and it's so magnificent and wonderful, but we can't do that because we don't own it. So anyway, point is, uh, we've updated our partnership page and then also if you want to see our rental revenue projections as well as our residency projections we've updated those pages as well which have a lot of details now that we didn't know until we did our timeline projections and our time investment projections for the Earthbag Village which will be the first one that we build and we got really clear going okay well if we're investing 50% of our time into infrastructure and the other 50% into maintaining everything else and keeping it running and setting one community up so that we can host other people so we can bring other people in to participate in creating an environment that people want to visit. Well, and then how many people do we need to dedicate to each task? How much time availability? What's our labor pool? And in figuring all that out, then we figured out exactly how many volunteers, additional outside people will be able to, will want to host to be able to come and learn with us to be a part of what it is that we're doing and create all that. And so understanding that and getting those details figured out, we then were able to update our residency projections and say, okay, you know, we're going to have 40 to 50 full-time pioneers push probably about 10 kids, and then we will have another anywhere from 20 to 40 uh, additional teachers, consultants, and students, and people that just want to participate and get some hands-on experience in everything that we're doing. We'll have another 20 to 40 of those folks coming and joining us on the property starting at about the six-month mark. And so once we figured that out, then we realized, okay, well, now that we know this, now we can focus our time and energy on making sure that we're prepared for that. And so it's all being built into the big long-term goal. And so this is all part of the designs for the future too. This is the idea of like, well, how do you roll out a village creation and how do you share that with your surrounding community? How do you invite other people to participate so that more and more people can understand these technologies, understand these ideas, and, and be able to um, take them and apply them in their own communities and to build additional teacher demonstration models. And, and, you know, and how does that work with the organizations that are specifically purposed to teach these things? And those are the partnerships that we want to form. Because One Community is an open source organization. We're really not designed or intending to be a, an educational organization. 
Our goal is to produce open source content that ironically teaches people exactly what they need to do to duplicate everything that we are. But as far as the ongoing, like, hey, I want hands-on training in Earthbag, well, come and get that with us while we're building the Earthbag Village. But when we're done with the Earthbag Village, we're not teaching that anymore. That's not our focus. Now we're working on the Straw Bale Village, and we'll be looking for people who want to come and participate in that growth. And we'll be referring all those Earthbag Village uh, students, people that are interested in that kind of information, if the information that we've provided is not sufficient online to be able to duplicate it, or for people that just realize that they want and need hands-on uh, work and practice with this kind of stuff, there's organizations that are purposed specifically for that. They've been doing it for years. So we want to refer to the experts. We want to refer to the people that teach this kind of stuff. And then everything that we're creating, the volume of information that we're creating, becomes tools and tutorials and resources for reference. And the point of all that is, is the real do-it-yourselfers should be able to easily take everything that we do and do it themselves. But we want to engage a mainstream market. Right? We want to engage people that aren't used to doing this kind of stuff themselves. And we believe that no matter how good we do at creating our open source project launch blueprints, we think that there will probably be a fairly good percentage of those folks that are still going to want hands-on experience. And we're, we're not the group to provide that once we're done. You know, We are the group, though, to provide if somebody says, hey, I have a question. Like in the whole process of creating the Earthbag Village, it's going to take us 18 months to build. And so in that, we'll be putting out all these details. And people will be asking questions. We'll be refining, updating all that information, constantly adding to it so that it's as comprehensive and complete as possible. And other villages will be being built too. And so as those villages, other, other communities and organizations are looking at what we're doing and they're giving us feedback and asking us questions, we will fill in all the blanks of everything that it is that we're creating so we have a complete resource archive and educational set, as, as complete as we could possibly make it. And then we have these other organizations that we're looking to partner with to be able to refer out to for digging deeper or for modifying everything that it is we're doing. And then other communities also that are building this will add their knowledge base to our knowledge base so we can keep building it. And so anyway, the whole point of all of this stuff is, is that uh, we've redesigned our partnership page, we've redesigned our overview page, we've put a lot of time this last week in redesigning a lot of the key components of our website, including, which I'm going to talk about next, the Satellite Pioneer option. Um, specifically so that we can engage a larger audience so that we can specifically bring on the partners that are necessary to help us complete the design process that we are now so we can put out the open source foundations and continue to move forward and more importantly so that once those open source foundations are in place once it's all done once we've got hands-on experience and we can say this is exactly how much it costs this is exactly how much time it took us this is exactly uh, how much space it requires to build this village if you build it like ours this is the water kitchen all those details then if somebody says, hey, that's great, I'm going to use this foundation, I want to build it differently, we can go, fantastic. The person to talk to to build this differently is this person, or talk to this organization. Or somebody says, wow, you know, that village that you built, they come and visit two years after it's complete, they say, how can I get hands-on experience with this? We could say, hey, go to this organization, go see this, or these are the organizations that teach this stuff, that's their livelihood, that's, that they're, they're professionals at. Check that out and then use everything that we've created as kind of educational tools and backup information and putting those two together, everybody should be successful. So that's the whole point. And in addition to that, which is what I was just about to talk about, is this last week we just completed our satellite pioneer option. And so um, the satellite pioneer option is uh, something that we've been working on for quite a while, we've been really excited about. And so we finally finished that up. And what it is, is for people that want to be a part of one community right now with what it is that we're creating with no intent of moving onto the property. Up until now, we had partners and consultants, and we had One Community Pioneers. And One Community Pioneers participate in our weekly calls. We have welcome team calls. We have like these social calls that we do each week. We have our project team calls, which are with consultants and partners, as well as everybody working on a project. And then we have, right now, their Monday night calls or weekly team calls, where we get together as a group and we just action plan. And then at the end of those calls, we discuss anything that needs to be discussed and create our, our next strategy steps for next week. That's why we're so effective. It's why we accomplish so much. We're very detail oriented and we're very, very action item oriented. Point of all this is once again, nobody, nobody that's anybody that only people that have been able to be on those calls and be a part of the infrastructure, this detailed community aspect of what one community is that's happening behind the scenes have been pioneers. And we've had people that have said, hey, I really want to be a part of what it is that you're doing, but I don't meet your financial requirements. Like we need people to be financially stable. We can't have people with huge debt. 
coming out of the property because we're not going to have any revenue stream revenue streams for a long time. Or people have said, you know, I'm I love what it is that you're doing, but I don't agree with this policy, or I'd like to do it differently, or I'm not interested in moving. I, I really just want to be a part of world change with you guys. I want to be a part of creating these designs for the future. But you know, I'm how can I how can I be a part of it without moving on the property? And so now we have an option for that, which is a satellite pioneer. And so we've created a, a much simpler form of our application process and satellite pioneers will be pioneer members or satellite members that will work with one community in every capacity with the exception that they won't be moving onto the property. They'll be listed on our website as satellite pioneers and so they'll participate in the calls, they'll have access to our entire back office, everything they're working on, they'll be a part of the creative process at a much deeper level than a consultant or partner because they'll be a member of the team in that they participate in all the team related stuff that happens beyond project teams. And their requirements and their expectations are exactly the same as a pioneer as far as putting in weekly time and being a part of everything. And so now we've got the infrastructure in place to offer that and to invite people to participate that want to participate in one community but you know may not be able to or even want to move on to the property. That's what the satellite pioneer option is. And so so it's exciting. That is, that's it. That's our weekly update. And those are all the details of everything that's happening. Uh, lots of cool stuff. I'm excited to see what happens this week and to be able to report in next week. Um, as always, thank you for following our project. Um, thank you for your support. Thanks for your feedback. And uh, check out the written blog that goes along with this if you'd like to see pictures. I'm going to post some pictures of the Earthbag Village and the Straw Bale Village, even though it's all over the website. I think I'm going to post those overviews just because it's been a while since I've shared those so that people can see what they are. And um, as well as uh, all the pictures of all these others, I'll give you some Sago Center updates. Oh, I forgot to mention the Sago Center. So the Sago Center, you know, we're redoing all the walls on the inside of that. So I got a picture, an updated image of that as well. Um, we realized that our import was just didn't work, and so we had to start over on that. It was kind of a bummer because it's like three or four weeks of work that's having to be redone. But it's happened. It's happening fast, and all these things happen a lot faster the second time than they did the first time. And so if you want to see an image of what's happening there with the Sago Center, uh, click on the, on the written blog link in the YouTube description. Check that out. And then um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to share about. Oh, and then our, you know, what we're doing now at the Sago Center is we want to get these walls, the basic walls on the inside are going to be completed. And then we're going to work on the outside and get that finished because we really would like to bring a couple more architects onto our team. Um, we definitely could use a structural engineer or two or three, and we could use three or four people that are uh, SketchUp artists. And so in this next week or two weeks, we're really putting together the foundation so that we can put out a presentation to people and show them really clearly, show them where we are in our creative process so that we can invite more people to participate, either satellite pioneers or consultants or partners, and get involved in a lot of 3D work and things that we're doing that just needs, you know, just needs hundreds of hours of more hands-on work and it's fun work to do it's actually really really enjoyable if you're somebody that knows how to do SketchUp or you're an architect or engineer I mean these details if you're into this kind of stuff which we are it's actually really really enjoyable and a blast to create it all and to see it just visually explode and so um, we're putting together the details to really invite people to participate in that because we just got like I said hundreds of hours of work that still needs to be done and so we're hoping to bring on a few more people onto the team that, that can design and sketch and want to be a part of that process. And so with that, I am complete. Thank you very much as always for following us. That's our update number 23 covering the week of July 28th, 29th, 2013. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to get uh, continue to follow our weekly blogs, if you'd like email notifications of each of these weekly blogs as we continue to move forward. And as always, thank you for following our project and your support.